Hi, this is Rava Hucha, and I'll walk you through getting started with DB2 on Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud. You have a couple of options. You can create your own armies using DB2 licenses that you own or the free version of DB2, that is DB2 Express C. Alternatively, you can use one of the pre-built AMIs for DB2 that are supplied by IBM or uh, Amazon Web Services. If using the pre-built DB2 AMIs, you have the option of using the paid AMIs uh, for DB2 Express or DB2 Workgroup and pay a hourly fee, which includes the DB2 license fee, the fee for the operating system, as well as the uh, Amazon EC2 charges. Or you can use the free development to use AMIs of, for DB2 Express C and uh, you only pay the infrastructure fees for Amazon Web Services. Let's start by going to ibm.com slash db2 slash cloud. There click on development AMIs and find a link for the 32-bit db2 express c development AMI. That'll take you to the catalog entry and when you use this AMI for the first time you need to click the purchase button and uh, after clicking the purchase button you're now ready to start launching the AMI. To launch the AMI easily we'll use the AWS Management Console which is a web-based tool. So go to aws.amazon.com slash console. If you're not already logged in sign into the AWS console by using your EC2 credentials. In the console we'll select security groups to define which ports do we want open for our DB2 AMI. I've created a DB2 security group and in here I've defined that I want to open port 22 for SSH, port 50001 for DB2 and port 80 for HTTP. Now let's click on the EC2 dashboard and then the launch instances button. Go to the community AMIs tab. Here let's search for db2-express-c. It will bring up the various db2 express c AMIs that are available and for this demo let's select the 32-bit AMI. We will now create a key pair in order to securely connect to an instance of this AMI once it's launched. We'll give the key pair a name and then click on the create button. Once the key pair has been created, we'll download and save the key, that is the PEM file, on, on your machine where you'll be connecting to this instance remotely from. Click continue and in the launch wizard, select the DB2 security group that you previously created. Specify one as the number of instances that you want to launch and then click on the launch button. Now close the message box that you get indicating that your instances are launching. In the console, click on instances and there you'll see that uh, your instance is in the starting status. The status will change into pending and within about five to ten minutes uh, you'll see that your instance is up and running. Select the running instance and then scroll down to see its IP address. Select the IP address and copy it. And now you can use SSH to connect to this instance using the key pair that you downloaded previously. Once you have SSH into the instance, you'll be presented with several screens for accepting the DB2 license agreement and the operating system license agreement. After this stage, you're ready to do some initial configuration of the instance. And uh, uh, there's an option to create a database on an EBS volume, which is persistent storage on Amazon. For our demo, we'll just use the local storage for the database. So we'll skip the elastic block storage configuration. And then 
the next step is to specify the user IDs and passwords for the various users. This includes uh, several DB2 user IDs such as DB2 inst1. Once the user IDs have been created, DB2 will be started on this instance. And now you're ready to create databases. We'll specify the name of the database. For our example, we'll use test db. Click next. And once the database has been successfully created, you're now ready to connect to this database and do your various database operations. Just to verify that everything was set up correctly, we'll SU into db2 inst1 and issue a connect to test db command and verify that we can successfully connect to the database and it's now ready for storing your data. The initial configuration phase also sets up the Apache web server and a PHP based application called Technology Explorer for DB2. To access this web based tool, simply enter the IP address followed by slash TE in your web browser and then click on a new connection to specify the database name, the host name, the port number of your DB2 instance and now you're able to access the test database that you just created. This tool is useful for monitoring your databases as well as learning about new technology and features in DB2. That was a quick overview for how to get started with DB2 on Amazon EC2. You can watch more DB2 on cloud videos at channeldb2.com.